Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Tutorial. Now let's discuss how the logic gate working. The symbol and the equivalent circuit diagram shown in the figure it is about the not logic gate. As you can see, it has one input and also one output. And the equivalent circuit, we have the transistor and the resistor connected to the collector supplied by positive pipe board and the LED it is connected from the output as you can see when the input is logic high then the output is logic low now let's see from the simulation how the current flowing from the not logic gate so when the base or the input a injected by the logic high then the current flowing from the base to the emitter and the current from the battery flowing through the resistor entering to the collector going out from the emitter and going back to the ground since the current is flowing through the ground so therefore no current flowing through the lead and now let inject from the input by logic law so when the input is logic law then the output is logic high simply because the collector emitter acting like an open switch so therefore the current just flowing from the resistor to the LED and no current flowing from the collector to the emitter since the input is logic low now let test the circuit on the breadboard. You can see the LED is glowing since the input is logic low. So therefore, the output is logic high. But when the input connected to the power supply, you can see the output is logic low and the input is logic high so when I release the power supply the input will be logic low and the output logic high the not logic circuit it is widely used in the electronic like computer laptop cell phone and this circuit you can see in my video on how the automatic net light on. I just put the link in the description below. Now, let's talk about the non-logic gate. This is the symbol of the non-logic gate and the equivalent circuit diagram. So when the input A is logic high and the input B is logic low, then the output will be logic low. 
So in the input A, logic low, and the input B, logic high, then the output still, logic low. When the input A and B, logic high, then the output will be logic low. But when the input A and B, logic low, then the output will be logic high. Now, let's inject the input A by logic high and the input B by logic low. Then, let's see in the circuit diagram when the output is low. So when the logic high injected to the input A, so the current flowing from the base to the emitter and the collector emitter acting like closed switch. So the current from the battery flowing through the resistor entering to the collector and going out from the emitter and back to the ground. Because of that, no current flowing through the LED. And the transistor 2 injected by the logic law, so therefore the collector emitter acting like an open switch. So this transistor will not activate it. Now, let inject input A by logic law and the input B will be injected by logic high. So the transistor to the base current flowing through the emitter. Then the collector emitter acting like a closed switch. Therefore, the current from the battery flowing through the resistor entering to the collector of the transistor 2 and going out from the emitter back to the ground. So therefore, the current from the battery goes to the ground and no current flowing through the leg. So the output is logic low. And the transistor one, since it is logic low, so therefore this transistor it's not working. Now, let's try both input A and input B injected by the logic high. Then, both transistor, the current flowing from the base to the emitter and the collector will be acting like a closed switch. So the current from the battery flowing through the collector of the two transistor and going out from the emitter and back to the ground. Since the two collector of the transistor acting like a closed switch, then the current flowing through the ground and no current flowing through the lead. Now let's inject both input 
by logic law. So when both input injected logic law, then no current flowing from the base to the emitter of both transistors. So the transistor were not working, then the current just flowing directly from the resistor to the LED, and the output is logic high. And now let's see how the null logic kit working on the breadboard. Now you can see the output is logic high since the two input is logic low. But when I connect the power supply to make the input of the transistor one logic high, then the output is logic low. So when I connect to the input of transistor 2, the power supply to make it logic high, then you can see the output is logic low. But when I remove again, the power supply to make the input logic low, then you can see the output is logic high. Now, let's connect the two input and let's inject the power supply to make the two input logic high. Then you can see the output is logic low. So when I release again the power supply from both input, you can see the output is logic high. So the output activating when the input of both transistor is logic low. So guys, thank you for watching my video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share.